I used to be ashamed of making money and afraid of finances. Today I'm going to share the tools and techniques I've used to overcome my money blocks and this scarcity mindset. It may come as a surprise that I embrace money as a minimalist. It's true that I don't focus on material possessions, but I do appreciate the power of spiritual and emotional wealth that money can offer us. If you are currently taking a different path in terms of your career and finances, feel free to share your journey with us in the comments. It's okay to have contrasts and I respect and appreciate other paths. Minimalism is the practice of focusing on what is nourishing and money can help me cultivate that nourishment, joy and happiness. But I don't welcome the flow of money to accumulate it. I use money to continue living out my creativity, to develop freely and to transform it into experiences, joy and growth. So the money, it's never the ultimate goal in my life. It is the potential that money has that interests me. I see money as an exchange to the value created and I value myself enough to accept money in return to my value. Before I started my practice of minimalism and intentional living, I was overwhelmed with all financial matters. I spent money mindlessly without a clear intention. My account was always drained at the end of the month and it seemed like I could never get out of that cycle. I felt like I was on a hamster wheel. I invite those who made more money than I did and I hated myself for not being able to let go of my jealousy and resistance to those I thought were privileged. There were two main problems I was struggling with. One problem was my hatred of money. I saw money as the devil. I also blamed those who had more and blamed capitalism and consumerism. I justified my financial instability by demonizing money and those who cultivate wealth. And the second struggle was my fear. It was my fear of becoming aware of my vulnerability. I felt insecure about my inner potential and felt like I didn't deserve good things. I constantly felt like I was a victim and I couldn't see my worth. At the end of the video, I will share the positive affirmations I used to overwrite my old negative beliefs. If you too struggle with financial box, feel free to share it in the comments so we can support each other. Do you associate money with fights and anger? Do you feel overwhelmed with finances? What solutions to financial problems have you found for yourself? I'd love to know what you've been going through and what you're dealing with right now. Minimalism helped me to get rid of that scarcity mindset. Scarcity thinking for me is feeling like I never had enough. Never enough clothes, never enough money, never enough friends. This led me to material possessiveness and obsession to compensate for my emotional insecurity. I didn't want to face reality because I didn't believe I had the inner strength to rise above my struggles. When I finally started to develop more self-awareness, I realized that I needed to set my budget and a financial goal and started to learning more about money. I read books like Rich Dad Poor Dad and started to explore topics like how our financial system works, investing and cryptocurrencies. By reducing my consumerism and living a minimalist lifestyle, I was finally able to put some money aside and invest it. I learned how to no longer end up with zero at the end of the month, but how to be smart about it and grow it. I discovered that I wanted to be exactly the kind of person I hated most. As a creative free spirit, I was always very suspicious of accounting and banking and I pushed that issue away altogether. The reason I hated people with money and influence was because I believed I could never be that way. Just because I wasn't willing to put in the hard work, effort and consistency required to succeed. I have been dealing with this for about 4 years now and I can say that I have made peace with finances and money. I like to take my time for financial planning, 
I rarely have bad feelings about money anymore. At this moment, I accept money even though it has its downsides. And even though I know there are people who accumulate money through inefficient, unsustainable and unethical methods. I am grateful that it is possible for me to live my life freely and use my time and resources wisely to expand my money. I am aware that not all people have this opportunity. I share my thoughts not to hurt anyone, but to inspire those who have the time and space to use their potential. I have felt vulnerable in accepting the self-created contradiction of living a minimalist lifestyle while appreciating abundance. I accept that I have chosen to rise above consumerism as a minimalist, using part of the system to better myself and the lives of other living beings. In addition to learning more about money and care for it, I have also harnessed the power of affirmations for myself. I don't believe that just reading affirmations out loud helps and all money problems are solved. But it helped me to transform my negative beliefs and memorize the positive phrases. It helped me to make peace with money. My first negative belief, money is the root of all evil, I have transformed into money is neutral energy. It's my consciousness that imbues it with its power. I have chosen to imbue my money with healing and transformative power for myself and the world. Money will corrupt me becomes I need spiritual development to take responsibility for the conscious use of money. I commit to my spiritual development. Instead of dealing with money is unpleasant and time consuming, I now say dealing with my money is the means by which I consciously channel and direct its power and energy. I take responsibility for dealing with the energy I generate. I no longer think, let's be honest and realistic, I'm not capable of making the money I want, but I now know that. I have successfully changed other areas of my life, so I will successfully change this area. Replacing, I have to put in effort to make money with I allow money to flow effortlessly into my life. Another negative belief I had was, there is only a limited amount of money in the world. If I have money, that means others won't have it. Now I say, there is as much money as there are ideas to create value in the world. I use my ideas and create financial wealth as an act of self-love. And as an example to others, I use my financial wealth to help myself and others. I used to be afraid of this. If I make a lot of money, I will obsess over it and my life will be out of balance. Now I know this. I balance my material well-being with well-being in all areas of my life. The next negative belief, if I work to make money, I must put the creative aspects of my life on hold. I transformed it into I make making money a creative and spiritual activity. And then the last one, which I love the most. Money will not save all my problem. I rephrased into, I have one less problem now. If you're struggling with finances right now, it's okay to take it slow. It's okay to still feel blocks. It's a steady process for me too, which I value. Because growth is what life is all about. I talk to you guys soon.